I'm blinding. Get yourself a spazzle. There you go. Bulldog spazzle. So. Thank you to the concrete company. Uh, some, wait, he's been on a job and somebody said you're famous and told him that uh, he's in one of our shorts and it's the uh, wheelbarrow skills and it's had 347,000 views he's made up. Mum off at the hospital. She's having a knock today, so um, always uh, nerve-wracking times when someone's in hospital. So, quick update. That's where we are. We're, uh, that is ready for slab. It's not critical that that gets done, but um, I think we're going to do that first to get that done. <clears throat> and then we've got all day then to get the slab ready. Concrete tomorrow, which I need to ring up about. So. Concrete isn't definite for tomorrow, but uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, nothing much to say really. Uh, but stone's got to go up to the top of the headers, the brick and edge, and then it's going to be sand blinded. We've lost a roll of visqueen somewhere in the last few weeks. Don't know where it's gone, so we're going to have to go and buy a full roll of that, which is a pain. Uh, a couple of bags of cement, and just something else I need to get, but I'll, I'll remember that in a minute. The um, the insulation arrived before we got here. It was um, it's come from Selco, and the driver said he was going to be late yesterday, so we said he'd drop it off first thing today. So it was first thing that. So yeah, that's ready to go in. And yeah, we're going to leave Alex to this, and then before we get um, sometime today, I'm going to get all the cuts done like that. Get all these. Those, those will be identical cuts all the way up and then we'll work out the bond on this do them cuts <clears throat> just so we're um, keeping the garden as tidy as possible so all the mess is in there so I'm going to go, go and give Alex a hand and then I'm going to shoot off oh yeah we're down to one bar now we had a puncher on the other one so I'm going to have to get a puncher kit to get that fixed so yeah go and get my boots on and get the, get the rest of the gear in here he comes That's the important bit, the radio's arrived. I'm a Tokyo Drifter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See you in a bit. So, here we go. Uh, Phil had just been in, dropped us off. Uh, a ton of MOT and another sheet of uh, insulation, but uh, <laughs> this uh, stone that we had left over in the job has uh, gone further than we thought. I thought we were going to like have a big crater left, but bloody hell, it's uh, it's gone really far. So we're, not, we're obviously not going to need a lot of stone. But um, what we're going to do though is get rid of all the crap. Get that in the skip and use the stone for back filling on the outside because the pipe's going to go around there anyway. So at least the pipe will be sat in stone. Yeah, and then the rest will just have to put in the remainder of our gorilla tubs like the rest. But yeah, so Dad's uh, just leveling up and doing all that. I was, I did most of that, just so you know, he's leveling off now. So, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's all there is to it. I'll probably set you up on time lapse now so you can have a little watch. So. We'll uh, catch you in a minute.
So, that was uh, round two of putting the stone in. We ended up putting the whole ton in. Which we could have just slipped the bag. Yeah, but uh, I thought I thought there's no way we were using a full ton. It's your fault. It's my fault because I didn't set the laser properly. But I set it off the bottom of the blocks, which is 225. It should have been 200. So when I reset it, I put it on our slab level, and then I moved the shaver up 200. And that's exactly it, 100 insulation, 100 concrete. So when I did that, everything was 25, 30, 40 feet, 40 mil load. So we could have had that over it, just going, instead of spading it out of a bag over there. Yeah. So, just stupid little mistakes that cost you. But it's in now anyway, so uh, I think next step will be the sand, so let's get this sand in, shall we? Boom. So, that's the sand in. Well, more or less, we've just got a little bit more to pop in, but uh, that's more or less the level. It's a bit low in some places, but it's not the end of the world. We'll just... Um, We'll just see what the concrete comes out as at the end because it's all within level. It's like five mil in some places, so we can we can live with that. So once we've had we'll get this whacked, have some lunch, and then we'll get this thing ready for concrete tomorrow. Sand blinding, get yourself a spazzle. There you go. Bulldog spazzle. Uh, I need one until I got one. Do more you do spazzles? I don't think so. You, you better uh, <laughs> cut that out just in case. <laughs> So yeah, once uh, sorry, the yeah, um, building inspector's coming tomorrow too, so he's going to check all this out before the concrete comes tomorrow. So that's that. We'll uh, get this. We'll get some picture evidence as well for um, for everything. So yeah, we'll. Um, I, need, I, keep, I need to stop saying so. We'll uh, catch you after lunch then.
And there we go, about half three. Let me just uh, check my watch that I'll wear in work. Oh yeah. Oh, you need to buy a watch, stop looking at your phone. Half three, bang on. Ooh, bang on, so there you go. Last piece going in. It got, went better than your pistol, didn't it? Yeah. Here we go. We're insulated. There's all our waste. We had a couple of pieces left over from other jobs. They're like, they're like this piece size. We keep them. There you go. Look. All, the, all the little pieces can be used up. We're not wasting loads of it. So that's all that's going in the skip. Those and that. So that's it. Um, get this fish screen on top and skedaddle. Oh no. Get the fish screen on and get the board set up for the concrete tomorrow. So they're not covering the grass again. There's a lot of um, tidying up. Oh yeah, and Alex is loaded out ready for tomorrow. Because we'll get the slab done, we'll get some block work up as well. Um, yeah. Take a few bits home tonight that we don't need. Those pallets can go back to Fairwoods. And yeah. Let's do this. Pity we didn't get the drains done today, but it is what it is. Never mind. Let's get this fish going on. Gonna stay there, I'll get, get all that off your legs, you covered in it. <laughs> right, let's get this top on. Um, while I'm doing all the corners, you can just pack up, mate. Corners? Yeah, you're cutting the corners in. So, oh, back to town. Well that was a bit of a nicer slab prep than the last few. Yeah, stress free. Stress free, so there you go, it's all in. And this top of this green lay is on now, so that means we're ready for whatever time they want to come tomorrow. Which is... Yeah, hmm? We're ready for whenever the uh, Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, they're not coming till after lunch, are they? Yeah. So I think the plan tomorrow is, obviously building inspectors coming, but we're going to get this in this in so that these bricks are moved out of the way and we've got that wall ready so we're just going to come here regular time tomorrow so yeah we will uh, catch you tomorrow oh don't mind me just uh, rocking the new Rocking the new boots. <laughs> uh, it was time for a change because those things were knackered. And uh, keeping theme with the uh, with the channel, got them orange ones. They're really comfy these. I have to ask Dad what brand they're called again because I forgot. But uh, <laughs> anyway, it is the day after slab prep. We've got our boards ready to already. Okay, boards are ready for concrete to come. <clears throat> Excuse me. Obviously, we'll just get one more set up here, but 
plan today is obviously concrete this afternoon but I'm going to get a mix on now so we can get this sorted while we wait for the building inspector to come and then we can probably get this bare pipe set up up to here and then the Robbies can do the Aco Dream while we're away and yeah and hopefully get some block work done on this side too so that's the plan not really much else to it so I'm going to get all set up and get a mix on and I'll uh, catch you after then Mix is in Vertical damp is almost in and we're ready so I'll get these boards loaded out now and we'll get some bricks laid so I'll get you set up somewhere and we'll uh, You break his body. Oh, them hips don't lie. <laughs> Quick update, we're all set up, corners in, just using our fit sprick to weight the line down, just behind Alex here. Alex dirt in his new boots. Baptising yeah. What are they called? Buck something. I think so, I can't remember, I was going to ask you. Buck boots. People who work on site recognise the wellies, the same as the wellies, the buck, buck boot wellies, so the good stuff. How much were they? Um, I think from where I got them, they were like 53 including value shipping. That's good, that for them. They, they are very on, comfortable. On Amazon, they're 60 quid. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. So when my um, my coffers finally give up, which I want to just start wearing, I'll have to get some of them, because I can't do my laces anymore. But we're ripping the, uh, the channel colours of both. Oh yeah, keeping it on brand. And what I've turned the camera on for is to show you, because it's the ground's quite high there, so it's dead awkward getting in. That's why Alex is doing this bit. But if you notice, because it's a six inch cavity, Sand in the cavity. Somewhere to put your foot. So there are, there is, there are good things to 6 inch cavity. Sorry, 150 millimeter cavity. Yeah, so we're going to get this stamp and for a break. And hopefully, I'll build this back to be here by then. Catch you then. So, there we have it. You know what, I just said so again. There we have it. That's all the brickwork done now. And I don't know if you saw on camera or not, but under the visqueen here, I've uh, filled the holes up where the door's gonna be, just to keep it protected from any rain that may be coming. And just to uh, keep, keep that. It's a nice finish, I find it's a nice finish. And uh, some places like you doing it, so there we go. That's that done. 
I'm just waiting for Dad now. He's going to pick up some 4B1 to put here. That way we can tamp off that. But yeah, it's uh, so far so good. I'm just going to get a bit more of that jointed if I can. It's still a bit fresh, so I will uh, catch you after break when Dad's back. Right, now that we're ready for block work, it's time to bring out <laughs> the big boys. So these are 175, aren't they, Dad? 275. 275, sorry. 275. So obviously these are the ones we have to use now to breach that gap between the new 150mm cavity, so... Everything, everything gets affected, so even the ties, so... Here we go, let's get these in and get cracking. Driving a bit horses with all that motor we had left, not bad at all. And just as we finished like getting that bit done, 
concrete's here, so couldn't have turned that better. We'll uh, get you set. I need to move these pallets, so we'll get you set up, and then that's gonna get tampering away, and I'm gonna uh, get cleaning up. Bit of a productive day. We've got our ties in. Just our new bloody 275 ties, just to breach that bloody gap. But there we go. So excellent. Alright, how am I mate, okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, boy, living the dream. Alright, you want to take that brick? How are you leaving in, buddy? Eh, I'll get it out of your way now. Cheers. Nice. Well, two wagons at least. Alright. Me and Paul had a fleet army form. That's what it seemed like, anyway. It's just filming at the moment. Thank you to the concrete company. Uh, some, he's been on a job, and somebody said you're famous, and told him that uh, he's in one of our shorts, and it's the uh, wheelbarrow skills, and it's had 347,000 views. He's made up. <laughs> so there you go. That's a slab in. Finally, a bit of relief time. Now, now it's all straightforward from here. Well, once, once you've got it, once I've tapped it, which yeah. isn't straightforward. Yeah, From tomorrow, it's a, it's a straightforward bit. We've got a nice slab to work on, we've got boards to put down on the slab to protect them. Whack that up tomorrow, probably get that to finish height tomorrow. Get this up to steel height, and then that's it, then we'll have to go off. We're going off anyway, but we, we, we need to wait for the steel. Yeah. And the uh, building inspectors has to see the steel as well. And he's asked for um, measurements, Calc and calculations, yeah. the window sizes and what have you. So we'll send that over to Robbie. Yeah. But yeah, so Dad is going to get this tamped, like he said, and I'm just going to uh, try and get some, make some sense of all this. So uh, I'll set you up on Dad, and um, I'll see you for the outro. There's the art and there's the artist. Nice job. Not bad for a man with a gammy hip. <laughs> so there we go. That is all the groundworks of our... That's the hardest part of them, isn't it? Yeah. Now once this is all, like we said before, once this is dried off, boards on top, get to work. But that will be the end of this video since now it's going to be block work. Well, more block work. So. Just enjoy me for this one. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe. Because we're aiming for fifty thousand this year. I know there's only six months left. It's probably an impossible task, but tell your friends.
you got any. <laughs> and be sure to hit that bell that we'll be notified when we upload. It's always a massive help and we greatly appreciate the support. This has been Concrete Lane with Steve and Alex. And Alex's new boots. My new boots. And Dad's concrete boots. And we will uh, see you in the next video.